hot side. Later. We got some Iraq plants going on. Where's the, uh, there's something in the freezer. Why don't you get it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring that along. Uh, no, that's my Red Bull. I can't. I'm... You know, it's so amazing. Why it's such a bit of Where's your father? You da? I saw him this week. Here we go. Iraq is here. Time, I missed you. Me too. Uh, so, you too, welcome home. Really, um, I miss you. You have this, that's new in the background. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, come on, guys, make plates. What the rush? All right, we're gonna start. Let's go to the rush. I mean, it's a holy night tonight, guys. It's the air fast. Yeah. These days are gonna be tough to be simple. All right, let's go to Gmail. This is Shabbat. I gotta remember which ones I'm doing where. Uh, Mordechai, we didn't do the Gmail together, right? No, we didn't do the Gmail. Gmail is a very, very strong, a very, uh, very, very important uh, uh, message. By the, all right. Chaim's cousin, what's your name? I'm sorry, Yosef. 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 Nice to meet you. Oh, brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Yeah. Nice. Friends and we married sisters. Really? Is that true? Yeah, we're both in Baltimore. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What? That's the plan, but yeah. All right. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. Where are we? 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 Like a premium product, bro. You can't, can't drop no Zubla bag inside of one of those. You might need to go pro Russian Zubla bag. All right, well, ready? All right, guys, go to Gmail. Come on. Level pleasantries. Where you guys? Gmail. Where you guys? Gmail. Okay. All right. All right, so it says, it says, Larry. It's that we have a midrash. It says, "Byom and Yosef are the high, but and Yosef are other be high, right?" The pasuk continues to say, "Ki nivhalu mi panav," right? So they were all taken aback, right? So Yosef. By the way, oh, okay. I'm gonna send something to everybody because I want everyone to be very clear. Um, what's the, okay? Hold on. Who sent it to me? You, how old was Yosef? How old was Yosef when he was? Um, when he was taken, seventeen. How old was he when he when he saw when they saw him again? Thirty-three. No, keep going. Think about it. this. This. Years later, right? This seven. No, that's no that no because. Seven. No. Keep going. Another two. Think about it. When did they come here? My father did the calculation. When did he go? That'd be twenty-two. Well, my dad. Why don't you sit next to me? Yes, sit next to me, please, please. Better. No, we he, need, he needs the props. <laughs> Ellie just cares about the props. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's really it's what it is. I mean, <laughs> oh, so it's on Rocha. All right, so I'll tell you, so, so. Be happy to have you here. Okay, so look, I'm going to, so he was 17, he was 17, right? And we said, how old was he when he, when he was, uh, what's it called? How old was he? He was, 20, it was, it was seven years, seven, okay, he was in jail. Was it 22 years later? 20, it was 22 years later, but, but think about what it was. It was. It was se- he was 17, sold for 12. He's 30 years old when he comes king. 30 years old when he comes king. Plus, now seven years of good years. We know the brothers didn't go to, to Mitzrayim for the seven good years. There's no reason. You don't go to Africa for no reason. And then there's two years of the famine. And that's when things get hard for Yaakov. And, they, and that's when Yaakov says, Ki yesheve be Mitzrayim. And that's where they go. So Yaakov right now is 39 years old. Yosef is 39 years old. Now to show you, I'm going to send a picture because I want everyone to know what 39 looks like, what what 17 versus 39 looks like. So hold on, I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to you know go crazy. 
This is AI Yosef Atzadik. Yeshiva boy and the Pharaoh. All right, so I'm going to send it to the Zera chat. What chat? Should I, send, should I just send it to the Zera chat? Is that going to be enough? Yeah. Whoever it comes, will be like, what is going on? Okay, so let's go camera. No photos. Oh, what am I gonna do for Soka? Okay, go ahead. I set it. Oh, you just did a mm-hmm. sneaky one. That this. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Just watch it. That's it. That's not what, YouTube. Do you have a WhatsApp? What? Oh, you have a WhatsApp? Okay, look. So you see the picture that you saw? You saw it's it or sneaky. no? Sneaky. There's a sneaky one. Yeah, you kidding? And we think I want the. I, I said the picture you can only see one time. That's me. Screenshot. You can't screenshot it. You can't screenshot it. Oh, oh, that's horrible. I never yes, it is horrible. That was a one-time view. No, that's a one-time view. I don't want nobody seeing that. I'm 17 years old, but show them the picture. Okay, okay, you didn't get it. You didn't uh, get it. You're on the chat. Yeah, the the, the night call that chat. Oh, there's a thing if you uh, send so, it, it disappears. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, look. No, I know the picture. Yeah. All right. So listen. So listen. So when he gets the when he gets it when he gets it. By the way, we still have one sort of move. Was the soldiers and I'm learning this data shot yesterday with somebody, and I asked him. Yeah. That we we asked we asked the and then I asked him to go. You can't go very far with that picture. <laughs> it's not that great. Can you open the? No, we were we were okay. I'll tell you what that was. We went we went skiing. We went to Shorty. So me and my friends went to Shorty. Ski mail, whatever, and that's what we did. We went to what's what it was, but we so it was we're good boys. We all get you know, food, everything's about food. We're good boys, good high school. It's all about food, food and fire. You know, you make a nice bonfire, and then he's that was eating and fires. How much could you, you eat? That's good. <laughs> well, no, we were not drinkers. No, we were not drinkers. Thank God, we were good boys. So, okay, your Sam tells his son, it's your Sam tells his brothers, right? I'm making up for it now. Yeah, your Sam tells his brothers, my father is still filming. <laughs> So Yosef says to the brothers, I'm Yosef, I'll be high, and they can't say nothing because they're all embarrassed. They're all shocked, right? The definition of Nivhalu is shocked. I, 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 I wanted to ask, why does he ask Oda be high? Because he already... Uh, Slow your roll. Slow your roll. I hear you. I hear you. He brings the thing, and he already asked them before. So he's right. asking again now. They, they told him Oda be high. So, the, what's, so what's the double? No, no, I'm just asking. There's a double. There's a reason for the double. You're going to see soon. It's a good question. But the Midrash, Midrash, hello, Midrash is going to take this real right, real fast. Oy lanu miyom adin. Oy lanu miyom atokecha. Yosef ketanan shel shevatim. Yosef was the youngest of the brothers. And the brothers, lo yachlu ehav la'anot oto ki nivhalu mipanav. Because they were so shocked from him. So they were afraid to answer him. And he's going to reprimand us for each and every item that we did. We need to be shocked and crazy. You understand? It's crazy. The, the Zohar, by the way, says, the Zohar says that David, Hezkiyahu, and Asa, and there was one more king, have something all in common. They were very careful with the Maasim. With the actions. How do we know? We bring up Asu David. David was the one that was very careful, it was very meticulous with the small items, right? We say, like, you know, Dash be like Rashi says, right? Yet David was very careful. He made sure that no matter what, he was always meticulous. So he, if you look at the Pesukim, which I don't know by heart, he tells Hashem, let me, I want to be able to go in and, and smite everybody till they all die. <laughs> like, I want every last one of them. Ooh, the enemies, yeah, I want to get all the enemies, and and he's asking for a barakah, he's asking for that. His kiyah said less. His kiyah said, I'm not as as big as David, I can't ask for that. I'm just going to ask that I could chase my enemies away. That's what I'm asking for, because I think that's what I can get. And if you look at the bits of Kim, exactly, he's asking, for, to, let, me, let me throw the guy, let, let me let them run away. Asa, Asa asked for... He goes, I can't even, he goes, he goes, uh, just, uh, I can't even do that. Let me scare them. Or you scare them for me, something like that. And then there was a fourth king. Yeah, leave it a little open, Mr. Brenner. The fourth king, what does he say? Says, I, oh, uh, the fourth king says, I can't, I had no, I don't have the Zechuyot because I'm not so careful with the small things. I'm asking to go to sleep and you do it. <laughs> he is, and that's exactly what the Pasuk says. He, Hashem did it. That's his it's his, his gal. So it's David. 
Somebody right after David. No, so David maybe Asal was the one about the rut chasing. Because yeah, his yeah, was the less. Said, I can't do nothing. I'm going to sleep. They woke up. Hundreds of thousands. They're all dead when they dead. woke up. Dead. Because why? Because I don't have a zechut. Because why? I'm not so careful like David and my predecessors. So, it's not a joke, boys. Every night, Every, it's not that hard. It's not that difficult. Do a little bit. Do a few, right. You have to forgive everyone, and everyone should forgive you. What's, what's more important, yes, obviously. But also, very important, you have to think. Think about what it is, and think about think about what you did. Moshi, think about what you did that during the day. Would I do right or not? <laughs> I forgive my wife every night. The question is if your wife forgives you every night, <laughs> not if you forgive your wife every night. So, but, so, but here's the question. The Zerah Shibshon is a very logical question. Why do I need this Midrash to teach me to be afraid of Yom Adin? Do me a favor. We're all afraid of Yom Adin. We all know about Yom Adin, whether we want to ignore it or not. We know it's there. We know it's coming. Why do I need this Midrash to tell me? what? It must mean that the Midrash is coming to teach me something else. You understand? Something else. What could it be? Oh, you're connecting it to, your, to, to, to yourself. The, brother the Midrash, look, the, the whole word, the Shoresh of Midrash, should be Doresh. He's not, the Midrash is not coming to teach you something that's, that's so Pashut. It's deep. But what's so deep about this? I know, but Yom Adin, I'm very aware. It's not so... Uh, it's it has got to be something else besides remembering Yom Adin and how afraid Yom Adin is. Okay, good. Let's see. So he says, so he says, Hello, call a davar pashu, a sechel mehayevo. Of course, you have to say the midrash of Selin Mod from this pasuk, some other sevara, some other logic that I need to know. It must be. So we, so this is great. So he says, so we start from the beginning. So why did Yosef ask Haod Yavihai right after he said, Ani Yosef? Ani Yosef, Haod Yavihai. That's the words of the pasuk. If we look, we're looking up in the. Do you have it? Well, I'm, I'm, no. I'm getting a homash. I expect you to have the book already. So it says, right? Mem hey, Pasuk email. Mem hey, Pasuk email. Right? It says, Vayomen Yosef Elehav. Ani Yosef Haod Abihai. Right? Right away. I'm your, I'm Yosef. Is my father alive? So the question is, why? You know, you walk into someone's house or you need something, you don't exactly say what you need right away. Even Amidah, by the way, we say three berachot, the first berachot is shorot, the what? what Shevach. Right? Tells Hashem, Yael, Agadol, Agibor, Vanorah. You smooth them in. You, you grease the wheels a little. You don't just go right in for the kill. It's like, you know, like sometimes like my wife wakes me up. She used to get very nervous. So she would wake, like the minute I wake up, she's asking me about bills. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm like, right? Like, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> right? But so, this, so you, I, I need Yosef. I want to be high. Slow down. You're, and it's making it sound like it's, it's, it's something bad. Like he's doing it to, to, like, to, like, to, to, to get them, to get under their skin. Is my father still alive? Because, you know, after all you did to him, I don't even know if the guy's alive anymore. It seems... Like Yosef is trying to give it to them rather than actually saying, you know, it, it being genuine and being happy to see them. It's not, a real, it's not a real question. What are you talking about? It's a rhetorical question. Really. Wait, oh. what you're saying? No, oh, you're no. Saying it's not a rhetorical question. He wants to know the answer. He's not saying he's not saying rhetorical. It's a fair point, but no, he's not. It's not rhetorical. It's not like what it like you put you put our father through so much. So what no, else did you guys do to him when I wasn't around? So, but that's no, that's what he's, he's alive, right? You know, he's so, alive. so yes, so that why? Saying, I know my father was the child for 22 mm-hmm. years. Right. What, what else did you guys do to him? You know he's alive because you know that. No one well, look, you should know. <laughs> you should know that the Al Sheikh and the no, Kriya God. So he's asking alive. something like, deeper. Someone alive, said. Uh, yeah, of course he's asking something deeper. That's the whole point. I'm trying to squeeze in. So listen, listen. So by the way, the Al Sheikh Hakadosh and Kliyakad both asked this question also. Why is it saying? Why is Yosef saying? I need Yosef to be high. It's like waking up and saying, "Where do you see yourself in five years from now?" You know, it's like such a like a like jumping in a cold you know body of water, which I am against. <laughs> okay. So what's going on? So it sounds. But he says, "Veloi tachen." It doesn't seem right to suggest Yosef. Right? 
Hominu that he came to comfort them, and he ended up what? Vesarin who ended up causing them sad embarrassment. Right? It 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 seems in the beginning he should have said anything negative. He should have smoothed them in. You know also. Don't worry, I'm Yosef. Everything's okay. Don't worry. Right. He should have skipped that and go into pasuk dalid. No, actually pasuk hey. Right. Don't be scared and don't worry in your eyes that you sold me because it's from God that sent me, not you. And, the, and and I'm and I'm here to protect you. And the galut is going to start. Da, da, da. And that's why go to your father. Go to go to go to Yaakov. Go to Haim asks. He goes, how could you think that that Yaakov didn't know? Are you crazy? Come on, it's crazy. So the answer, of course, he knew. But how did he tell him? Because he got Yosef got the brothers to understand not to be embarrassed that you sold me, because it was from the hand of it was the hand of God, not the hand of you. You didn't do it. So when he go to Yaakov, he got to tell him. This all it's all this amazing thing happened. It's from God. Hashem did it. And you don't feel the embarrassment and say, Yeah, we kind of sold my brother Morris. <laughs> <laughs> right? It doesn't make sense. I, so I don't have to feel bad anymore that I did that. So Yosef is telling the brothers, Don't worry, it wasn't you. That's Ora Haim. And that's how Yaakov knew. According to Ora Haim. He says, Yeah, I could you think that he didn't know? Come on. Like, kind of the elephant in the room. I mean, how long could you think it could last for? Where did all this come from? You'll say, <laughs> whatever. It's also to protect your embarrassment from telling your parents, your father, and telling Yaakov. That's what I understood. The way I understood the Rakhim is that you protected them from embarrassment because if, if, if he goes over there and tells he them. He would not them, tell them, he would not tell them, Sasha, how are you doing? you late. <laughs> <laughs> he would not tell them. Yeah, leave leave the, the door open. Leave the door open. He was watching on the video. Leave it open. Leave it open. It's good. He's there. Come so closer. Say hi to my father, Sasha. You didn't see my father? You saw my father? Okay. I don't feel like you saw him. We need another table. Uh, Sash, can you find another table? Where? It's in the shed upstairs. It's outside to the shed. Let us sit here. No, I know, but we're going to need another one. I know people come late. You sure? No, so my, my, I don't know. We'll find out. Mayor Malik, right, I'm Yosef. I'm your brother. I haven't seen my father for 22 years. Is our relationship still alive? Can I make up the lost time? Uh, that's interesting. I don't know about that one. Well, don't have your dad. Don't bring your daddy issues in here. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, let's let's focus. Let's focus. Like what? Like what? what? Is that that is not the way the Torah to stick it to him. I'm sorry, that is not the way the Torah. The whole reason why somebody wants to stick it to anybody is because the Yetzirah wants you to do it. Your Yetzirah Tov does not want you to stick it to nobody ever, ever. I asked my rabbi one time. I said I wanted to do something. By the way, our class is in Efuah Shelma for my grandmother. Amen. Mazal Bat Rahel. I was going to throw a refuah shleimah into my cousin. And refuah shleimah for? My cousin Eliel ben Zlata. Ben Zlata. And for all, for Hashem Yishmur, and all the Hayalim, Bifrat, Baruch, Yitzhak, Ben, Masha. He's going back Shabbos, Shabbat day. He has to go back on Shabbat. Yom Tov, Yom Tov, David ben Tamar, Eliel ben Achel. Okay, whatever. It's It's not considered Hilo Shabbat. It is not. It is considered keeping Shabbat. You understand? He hasn't fallen. He's gone. 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 He's I'll uh, say it soon. The right Ooh. time. A job. That's that's fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, look. So now, so the, by the way, the Al Sheikh asked this question the clear cut. So again, let's review. We have the Midrash that says, "By Yom Yosef Ela Hav, Ani Yosef Aodavi Hai." All right, and Nivhalu Pumipanav, and they got all embarrassed and shocked is the real word. Uh, then the 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 Midrash says, "Oy Larum Yom Adin." Right? How? By the way, I'm repeating this. It's actually not even here. All, all this by Yom Adin. Right? He goes. He goes, Oy Lanam Yom Adin, Oy Lanam Yom Atuach Achad. Yosef, the smallest of the Shevatim, who couldn't, no one could answer, they couldn't answer what's going to be, Melech Machia, Melechim, Akadosh Baruch Hu, we're there, and he's going to give Toch Achad for every little thing. The smallest of things. By the way, don't be nervous, because that's a good thing. Because you also get rewarded for every small thing. Don't look at it as defensive. It is offensive. It is awesome. Should you not go in business, because some a couple of guys are going to burn you, and you're not going to get paid? No. You go on business and you deal with the guys that burn you. What are you going to do? You have no choice. Doesn't mean I should have gone on business. Chaim, yes or no? You grow with the punches. I don't know, God. I'll get that off. You know? Ooh, well, I'm a collector. God bless you. <laughs> you don't I'm get not. Kishka, so maybe I'll show you. Right. <laughs> so, okay, all right. 
Right, now this is right as the other question. If they already told him that he's alive, right? Why did he have to ask it again? It's a great question. They know two fits were came before her, no, but by being me kids. He tells them, right? Our father, your 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 servant uh, sends his regards alive. So what why does Yosef have to repeat the question? Right? And also, this is my favorite question. Why does it say Ani Yosef, how would Avi hai? How do you not say how would Avinu hai? Our father. Nah, 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 nah. Our yeah. father. What are you talking about? Why would he say Ani Yosef, how would Avi hai? By the way, that that one. Zera Shibshon is notorious for asking questions that are right in front of your face. <laughs> and you just don't get it. It's great, right? It's an awesome question. So, right? Because why? What's the big deal, by the way? By saying Avi, don't forget the whole reason why we're here is because you sold me. <laughs> right? And you threw me in a pit against my will. And I didn't want to go in the pit. And then you dragged me out of the pit. And you sold me to a bunch of Muslims. You sold them to a bunch of these guys that ended up in Potifaz. I had a horrible 12 years. By the way, the prisons of Mitzrayim were not exactly the prisons... Of uh, America or Israel, it's not air conditioning and three and three square meals a day. It don't work that way. It was like a, it was a hole. It was a hole. You got air conditioning, by the way, but it was in the winter. <laughs> Can I just add in that my son was in Aza for seventy days, so he was in all the different houses in in Aza. And yeah. He said they're not so bad. They're pretty good at state. Wow. They've got a lot of chefs in their house and. The cupboards are filled with all kinds of interesting things that you would think that because they have to search everything. Where they keep the weapons generally? Children's, Children's baby room. room. Yeah. Yeah. And they have toy ones as well to train the kids. They have books against us. So but it's not like the way they make it sound like the way it was prison in Mitzrayim. Well, there. Yeah. It, they're well, living innocent, a good life. Innocent civilians. And the higher up they are in Hamas, the more nice the house is generally. And it, he said most of the houses had a Hamas uniform. At least one or two in every single wow. house he went into wow. Wow. in the cupboards. Let me be clear. Okay? Hashem made a teva to the world. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Hashem made a teva to the world. Okay? There's a teva. Don't try to change it. I'm sorry. You don't yeah. like it? Too bad. Deal they with took, it. Took, he said he saw some of the Hamas. They take the babies or the families that they're forcing to stay. He saw it with his own eyes. And they put the baby like round, wrap it around their head so you won't shoot them. Really? He saw it. That's what they do with the babies. That's their head. Okay, we know this already. Ele is gematria. Who remembers? Baruch Hashem kevo makotor leolam v'ayin. Right? Hashem Oshia Hamelech Yanev Yom Koreinu. Right? Hashem Hamelech Yanev Yom Koreinu. What gematria? What? Shema Yisrael Hashem Elkir Hashem Echad. You guys don't listen. You guys don't listen. I said this last week. <laughs> I <laughs> said uh, 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 from Rav Ginsburg recently that he said Ve'ani uh, eftach bach, which is a pasuk in Teilim, mm-hmm. the Chabad is a nigun. Ve'ani eftach bach, Gematria Hamas with the Kolel, uh-huh. 109. Very nice. So when the when the sirens went off, if you feel safe, you feel safe. Ve'ani <laughs> eftach bach. Okay, right. Yeah. By the way, it's all a game of chicken. It's all a game of chicken. Your life is one giant game of chicken. My life is one giant game of chicken. What does that mean? Means you know the right way to live. You're very aware. You're a smart guy. You know the right way is to wake up for nits. You know the right way is to treat your kids with 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 patience. And you know the right way is to tr- be nice to your wife all the time. You know the right. You know everybody knows to learn in the morning, to learn at night, to to be, to live in Tahara. You ever, we all know it, but yet we don't. We have issues. We have baggage. Why? Because right. you have a yitzara. You have a yitzara. But you know what to do. So your whole life is spent fighting to actually get it done. Your whole life is spent trying to get it done. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you do a little better. Sometimes you do a little worse. Uh, so yeah, good days, bad days, good weeks, bad weeks, good years, bad years. This, uh, by the way, I can go on. <laughs> Chaim, show your bones. Collective sigh. Somebody has to. But, but, the most important thing, the most important thing is is, if you do it, Hashem Besimcha. Be excited. Why excited? Because you're on the winning team. And you need to act like it. You understand? You got to act like it. You cannot act like, like I'm the worst guy. Yeah, act like it. Sasha, everybody on the team, whether they play the game or not, get a get a get a ring at the Super Bowl. I'm visualizing it. 
wake up for nets, wake up for minyan, like you wake up for, like, remember when you, when in the old days, when you were younger, you'd go on a trip with your friends, right, the air, when you go going to the fight, you're like, all right, should I stay up all night? I, maybe I won't even sleep tonight. I'll just stay up till, you know, 9.30 in the morning, and then I'll, so I don't make, I don't miss my flight. Why? Because that's what you value in your life. What if you value Torah like that in your life? What if you value Tefillin like that in your life? Rabbi Busu passed away at 90 years old. The, the, the Baba Sali's son-in-law. The Gabai came at the Shiva and he tells, he tells the brothers, the sons, that your father would put their feet on 90 years old like he was a bar mitzvah boy. Like he was a bar mitzvah boy. Because he loved the mitzvot so much that Baba Sali called him a Hasid. Not a Sadiq, a Hasid. Hasid is higher. Hasid is, is unbelievable. It should, all, it should all be for everybody here. So that we have a few questions. Let's ask the questions again. The first question is what's the Midrash coming to teach us? Right? It's very basic and understanding that I know I got to be careful. Yom Adin, Yom Atochacha. Very nice. All right? The re- the, but we start by asking, why did Yosef say, I need Yosef all of you high right away? Why don't you just, why, why don't you, you know, get, let it settle a minute? Talk to him, tell him how he got there. And then ask, is daddy alive? And why did you call him dad? Why did you call my dad? How can we say dad? How can we say our dad? The whole reason why we're here is because you sold me and now I'm split with you. So by saying Avi, you're like, you're maintaining the split. We want to be one. All 12 tribes together, Mr. Brenner. If I say that I am alone, that oh, the Vihai, what? My father and I, yours? What do you, you want to bring that up again? <laughs> you're bringing that problem up again? That's exactly what he's doing. So what's the Inyan? What's the concept? And by the way, the last question was also a very good question. Is what were the brothers supposed to say? <laughs> What were they? What were they like? What was so? What were they supposed to say that caused the pasuk to say that they were shocked and they didn't say anything? What, what, what was, there, was there something to be said that they didn't? The pasuk is saying that, right? It says, "Look, what pasuk were they supposed to give?" That the pasuk gives a reason as to why they didn't say anything. Right? Great question. Now. We have a great Gemara, Ketuvot. You have a guy named Mari Bar Asik. Asik was a guy who lived in one place, okay? And he moved he moved to another place, and he took his younger son. And the wife, I don't remember the story completely, but the wife, you remember this? It's in two places. Baba Metziah also in Ketuvot. The wife gave birth, or he had a younger brother. He didn't take the younger brother. P.S. That one of them grew up on the other side of town, and the other one they grew up they grew up separated. Now Asik, the guy, the guy's name dies. The guy dies. Now the 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 other brother comes to the original brother and tells him, "Okay, half the Yerusha with me. I got half the things." And what do you say? I don't know you. I don't know who are you. I don't know who are you. What? I know what you're talking about. You have my money? Right. Who are you? I don't know who you are. New phone. Who this? <laughs> right? So So what happens? He goes in front of Rav Hizda. They go in front of Rav Hizda and he says, Rav Hizda says, Shapir Kamala. So the brother goes and he says that Mari is saying that he doesn't know me. So what does Rav Hizda say? Rav Hizda, yeah, that makes sense. I don't, yeah, it's been 30 years. Why would he know you? The same way, and he brings Yosef as a proof. He says, Yosef, they, didn't, they saw him and they didn't recognize him. Why not? It teaches you that he left with a clean face and they met him again when he had a beard. Yeah. So it's possible that, the, that you know, Don't so it makes sense. And, you know, what makeup? Makeup and dress Egyptians. They wear makeup. <laughs> I was not there, so I couldn't tell you. Well, I, mean, I don't know if you said what makeup. He did it in the little measure says. It's got to be right here. He definitely walked like an Egyptian. He was saying in the name of Hasidic Rabbi Katz that uh, Yosef Atzalik was going up and up in the Buddhist Hashem that he looked like a different guy. They didn't, they didn't see him. Like, mm. what he said. I'll tell you, it's true. I have a Havruta, okay, that, 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 uh, big, big time of that time. It was here Tuesday. Comes to my house every Tuesday. I pick him up. One few times I leave my house. I pick him up, and I and he go. He gets questions all over Israel. People ask him a hot question. It's a hotline you can call, and he's one of the guys that so any on anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, real stuff. Hayalim. So many questions from Hayalim. So from Aza. So many. So 
So, but he he's in a pro. He's just started a pro. He said he's needed. He felt like he was a little dry. He wanted to try. There's a new program about Shahita in Jerusalem, and he wants to. And he's been going there. So, P.S. Six months later, I see him. He's a different man. It's just different. I can't. He's different. You see his face. His face. He looks more rugged. He looks more like. I can't. Before he was more like you know, like like just you know, like you know, like very soft. I can't explain it. He really is tougher. He looks tougher. You didn't see him before. <laughs> so 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 place yes does change you. So whether you had makeup or not, I don't know, but I'm sure the place changes you. So but now your safe. So now Rav Hizda comes and says that we learned from your safe that they didn't recognize him. You see from this that he left clean shaven. And he came back, and they had it, had it, had it on a beard, and no one recognized him. Tosfot writes something different. Tosfot writes something where he says on the words, and what, what does Rabbi Hizda say? Shapir ka'amal lah. It makes sense what he said to you. Right? What, is, what does Tosfot say? Zeh sheba nolad kan, ve'alach im aviv lemidinat hayam. This kid that was born and goes to, uh, you know, overseas with his father, and now that he comes back, and he says, lo yadana lach, I don't know you. What it sounds like a lie. This is the toast for why it sound like because you should have said, I don't know if you were my brother or not, because I know I have a brother, because it's not like you were, you knew you had a brother. You just didn't know who he was. But by you saying I don't know you, now it sounds like I have an ulterior motive, like our boy over here said, you ain't getting my money, and now he doesn't want to deal with it. So now Tos what is saying that no, now it seems like a lie. He should have known if it's his brother or not. Because he knew who he was from before. Which means that if he would have tried to see anybody go to their 30 year reunion. Yeah, me neither. But I didn't have, I didn't have mine yet. No, but even but, with your own siblings, if you don't see them for a while, you don't, they don't always recognize, you don't always like. Talk about, someone from, talk about somebody from from school. What do you mean? For 20 years. Yeah. 20 years, by the way. Yeah. You're out of school 20, I just, I just 20 years at least. All of us. Yeah. All of us. Parents, all the time, I don't recognize. Right? But if you took a minute and you and you, and you, and you you tried, you try, you'll, you'll see them. But it was a, I, this just happened to me recently here in the neighborhood. And I was like, the guy's like, dude, I know you. Like, we grew up together. And I was like, who? What? Mm-hmm. And then I recognized it was, oh! Right. But if he didn't say who he was first, no way. Because it wasn't on your mind. No. Seder. But like, right. yeah, but how, how long did you talk to him? Good, yeah, 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 yeah. But a good 20 years. No. How long were you talking to him? When he said, oh, I'm this guy? Um, not long. Not long. Not long. No. So, a few minutes. Okay, good. And generally, men that see each other in the street aren't exactly so keen on on, talk, on small talk to regard, you know, to begin with. So, so we're not exactly wanting to know who the guy is. You know, like, how you doing? How you doing? You know. <laughs> so now, so this is what Tosfot say. This is important. Tosfot is saying that there's a there's there's a side to say that the guy should have seen who he was and paid attention because he could have realized because he did grow up with him. So Moshe, twenty years from now. You could, you know, if you if you you, you look at an old picture, and you take a minute, you could you could see it's the is, same guy. Is this a question on the brothers or is this a question on Yosef? It's a question. Rav Hizda says it makes sense that your brother said he don't know you. Right. So it's worth the same, but because he said the fact they said loya dan alach, I don't know you, means that. You, but that's a problem. If you would have just said I don't recognize you, right. right? And maybe you are, maybe you're not. Then we would have believed you. The Beti would have believed him. But now that you said loya dan alach, I don't know you. That doesn't make sense because you do have a, you know, you have a brother. Right. And by the way, the story continues. That really, yeah, Mahdi was was a, was was a, what's it called? The question on the brothers, the brothers should have taken a couple extra. Cards. So we're gonna see a minute. We're gonna see how this plays out. But you should just know the game. Anaki Tavot goes on because what had this guy Mahdi was a very was a tough guy, and Mahdi had a lot of uh, a lot of pull. And the witnesses that the brother tried to get, nobody would testify because everybody was afraid. So whenever he's not, ends up going to Mahdi, the brother tells him, okay, you gotta bring, you gotta bring the witnesses. So Mahdi answers, is this the way you rule in your court? Like th- th- this is absurd. This is what do you mean? It's his problem, not mine. His brother. I have nothing to do. <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. He, I it's not it's not my job to prove that he's not my brother. It's his job to prove he is my brother. Because of that, because he wants to take the money. Anybody, yeah, you there's a defendant and then there's a plaintiff. If the plaintiff is taking someone to court, it is the plaintiff's job to prove his point, 
Not the defendant's job to prove that he's not he didn't do anything. Leave the guy alone. It's his job to prove that he did something wrong. But everybody, but everybody that he tried to bring, nobody wanted to want to testify because they were all afraid. Because Mahdi was a tough guy and everybody's afraid. So now Rabbi Isla goes to Mahdi, tells him, All right, you're up. You gotta bring the witnesses. He goes, What are you talking about? That's the way it works. He goes, When I deal with you and your tough friends, yes. He goes, When when you You have to prove that he's not your brother. Yeah. Because yeah, why? Because I deal with you and the words that given out is very harif. You and your uh your, your your high profile friends that that try to try to you know not let it like to, to, to make sure people don't testify right that that uh, t- witness tampering so you go yeah and then and then he ended up not being able to prove he had to give half the money okay but the point but the Tosfot point oh, so it was harder for him to to prove that he's not his brother yeah because it is his brother because yeah. he knew it's his brother he just didn't want to do it <laughs> imagine somebody coming over to you now and say I, I you know you have to pay me half your money. You crazy? I'll tell him what money, boy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was talking, I was talking to my engineer. I'm telling him I'm in the Zara Simpson. I'm waiting for this gula. <laughs> by, by the way, I'm getting books. We're getting the, we're getting the delivery. 1,000 books. They're coming. I'm going to put them in one spot. I'm going to put the coupons. 100 shekel. Whoever wants to buy. You buy, put the money there, you don't have to talk to me. Put the 100 shekel in and leave me alone. Okay, if we're going to talk about money, there's a lot to talk about. We want guys, everyone, we're working hard on the website, zerashimshan.com. Yeah. Go check it out. But even more importantly, send your names and partner so we can have more Yeshua for the Zara Shimshan and for everyone Donate. who's partnering. Donate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, all right, so now, so now we go back and now let's, all right, so how does this apply to your Sam? So now, over here, so Yosef already knows that they don't recognize him. Why? Because he was in front of them a bunch of times. They were in a bunch of Yosef a whole bunch of times, and nobody realized that it was Yosef. And Yosef realizes that they don't realize, because, hello, you should have realized. Right? And he thought to himself, he thought that when he says, I am Yosef, they're not going to believe me. If, they don't, if, if I'm so out of their mind, if I just now say, I am your father, a brother, sorry, thank you, I am your brother, they're not going to believe him. Just like Mari Bad Asik did. Mari Bad Asik said, I don't know you. I did straight. He didn't even try. So now that the brothers were in front of Yosef so many times already, and now, you know, the, I'm sure Yosef's picture was on the wall somewhere, the bed far off, right? I don't know. And, but it, eventually, he should, they should have clocked it. The fact that they didn't clock it, we're going to assume like Mari Bad Asik. So what does he do? So right after he says the words, and Yosef, Aodavi Hai, is my father alive? Why? Because if you don't recognize me, my father will. Wow. If you don't recognize me, my father will. Wow. And we had it last, right? The power, the power of a parent. <laughs> <laughs> the power of a parent, right? Let's, let's shimmy. He's, he has school tomorrow. The rules: if he has school tomorrow, he can't stay up for class. He's got to go to school. Chavetz uh, Chaim, by the way, we miss him. We miss him too. Chavetz <laughs> Chaim would shut the lights of the of the yeshiva at 10 p.m. What do you mean? You go to other yeshivas; they work until two in the morning. They were they learning, but why Davka? Why? Because you got to wake up for midnight in the morning. Chavetz Chaim would make everybody go. So you got to be balanced. You got to be ready. You can't say I'm going to learn until two in the morning and now wake up. You you have to. You know the ingredients. Before you put the toppings, you got to put the right ingredients in the cake. Otherwise, it's going to take funky. Like the, I don't know if anybody realized the uh, spaghetti and meat had a little kick in it. <laughs> I put sriracha sauce. <laughs> okay, so Yosef says what? So that's why Davka, because they didn't realize who he was, he Davka says, "Ani Yosef, you should have recognized we don't." So therefore, and why? And by the way, what does it say? She Ani Yosef, yes, you should have recognized me. Because you saw me before that, just like Tosfot. Tosfot said that Mahdi shouldn't recognize him because he did grow up with him. It's not like you didn't know the guy at all. You knew him from something. right? And if you don't recognize me, my father will recognize me. Thank you. right? Either from Misada Teva, the normal way of life, or from Ruach HaKodesh. But my father's going to get it out of me. <laughs> He's going to show you that I am him. That I am me. Right? He was waiting that they should say now that now that they're paying attention that they should that oh, 
And he was wa- he was waiting to see now that they paid attention that the Yeah, yeah. That they're paying attention, that they should have recognized him. Yeah, like if they, if once he says I'm Yosef, they would take a second and be like, oh, Yosef. Like now oh, like, I, I get it. Right. It can also be a because it says that he had the same face as his father. Right. So Very good. Yeah. Very good. He saw, it said he saw a reflection of himself. He saw his father. <laughs> right. So right. If, if you guys hung around our father, you would know what he looks like. Why would you know? Well, do you well, know? He, he's Yosef, so he, he knows this. I don't know. Do you know you had Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov? Each one of the three. Each, each one of the three. That's another thing. Why don't you realize that I look like your father? <laughs> Hello, Abraham Avinu. Because because of the whole issue with Avimelech, Avimelech takes Sarah. Okay. Now, right after that, all of a sudden Sarah gets pregnant. Hashem makes Yitzhak exa- look exactly like Abraham to make sure there's no confusion. Mm-hmm. Very nice. The same year. Same year, okay, yeah. According to Dole Dole. Dole Dole. Dole. Best yeah, book. You bought it? Yeah. I mean, Best book. Best book. Yeah. Best book. Yeah. Everyone yeah. should have. Yeah, fold out. Best book. It's one of the only, uh, it's really the only book I won't lend out. Any book anybody wants, but they'll take. What? Dole Dole is a book that goes from Adam and Ishan, tells you everything. Corresponding to, to modern history, whatever you want to call it. Really? Oh, yeah, until that's the best book. Go pull it out. It's on the bottom. <laughs> oh. So, anyway, anyway, so Abraham, or after. So, now that Abraham, it, so, so Hashem made it that it's actually exactly like Abraham in order that people should, should, you know, should know that he came from Abraham. But there was one problem. Abraham, now, people come to Abraham's house, they're talking to Yitzhak, thinking that it's Abraham because they don't know, can't tell the difference. So, what did Abraham pray for? White beard. Like the first, I mean. right? What's that? What, right? Why? Because you got it. Because we got to know who's the father and who's the son. Because the the people. Yeah, Abraham. There's three things that we have today that we didn't have before the Avot. First one was gray hair. Abraham asked for gray hair because he talked with exactly like him. And people when they come to the house, the place was like uh, the train station. Everybody was always inside. Every people thought that he talked with Abraham. And they would give kavod for the son and not give kavod to the father. So therefore, Hashem, uh, he prayed for gray, gray hair. Yitzhak asked for something else. Yitzhak said, I don't want my children going to Gainam. Okay, because we know Abraham picked. Hashem says, what do you want? He says, what do you want? You want Gainam or you want uh, Galut? And he says, give me Galut. I don't want my kids going to Gainam. Yitzhak also didn't want us to go to Gainam. So what did he do? He created Yisudin. What is Yisudin? Before somebody dies, sometimes you're, you're, it takes a minute sometimes. Why? You got to clean out before you go. Uh, before that, there was no Yisraelim? No. 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 They also didn't have food service. <laughs> no prohibition pickle. <laughs> and the third, the Yaakov asked for, Yaakov asked for sickness before you die. You heard? Mordechai. You're right. You talk, ask for Yisraelim throughout your life, so you're able to, to pay for what you do throughout your life, so you don't have to worry. Well, you always worry, but whatever. And Yaakov asked, in order to get my affairs in order, don't let me just drop that. And then the Midrash says, how would they die? Anybody remember? Cheese, sneeze, sneezing. You would sneeze and die. Oh, right? That's where Chaim comes from. The life, not the death. Yeah. Where is the source of this? That people would sneeze and die. That was it. What's this? Hapchi. So no, that that's yai, that's yai. Why we say sabri mananan haim? So we know it's not a sota. <laughs> so we know that we're not drinking to a sota. Yeah. Which source? What's the source? Which source? The midrash brings it down. Midrash brings it down where Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov all ask for separate things. All the tanaim they bring it down what they ask for. Why do you say the chaim? I missed that. Sorry. You say the chaim for the chaim and not for that. So we're, we're, we're regarding yai and wine. You say the chaim because what would they do? By the sota, they bring out wine. So wine, bring out wine, was like an issue. So you say the chayim, like, oh, everyone, chill out. It's all good. It's, it's a good siman. Yeah, the, no, what they do? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. The guy that was going out of Beit Din, yeah. the last wish. Wasn't sota? No, it's sota also. I don't know. But no, they give her water. They give her water. What do you guys say? Chayim. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The guy at the Beit Din wants to 
a guy that Rab Rabba said that the guy the Beit Din is gonna kill him, so he has like the last, 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 uh, he had last like, guy like last meal. Little, he no, could have a little no, drink. No, no, no. <laughs> they, have, they have a glass of wine and they eat also to show that they did nothing wrong. They did the halakha. Mm-hmm. This they're they're good with the Beit Din. Yeah, with the guy that's going oh, to It's like the brothers did. Exactly. Is that like the brothers did? So we say now, Lechaim, to say we're not well, like him. No, we're, no. We're making a Kiddush. We're making the Kiddush. We say Lechaim because it, we're not the bad demon. They didn't send this guy to death. This is Kiddush. We're making Shabbat. Lechaim. Right. So that's why. Because, because when the bad demon made the death penalty, Gezera, the, after that, they had a meal with wine. Because to show that they're good with it, he's good with it, it's for his benefit, you know, everything is good, so they just eat. That's why they ate also after they sold your sick. Wow. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay? So now, you usually, you see people having wine, oh, it must have been the death penalty going on. So, no. Right. Right. It was good. You know, my father took my, uh, my father took my tehillim the other day, and, uh, and so I have notes. I write notes. Like whatever I learn, so I write notes. So he's really like the reading really well. Huh? You like to highlight. I like to highlight, yeah. So I see. So I see. So my father goes, uh, "Who who who write these little notes in your in your tailim? I go, "Me." So he goes, uh, "They're wrong." <laughs> Now we know where he gets it from. I'm suffering because of you. I don't even talk to you. I have no time. The one wrong thing is also had the same thing. Right? The word by Yahel, by Hel Nafshi, okay? Oskol had it and he had it as yearning. Okay? But by Yahel really means an active going out, like a Hail, going out and hunting and going and doing and getting. Meaning, yearning is. Watering it down. What yearning is all I wanted, but I'm not doing anything about it. Uh, your son says we're all good. Yeah. We're all, we can all drink the grape juice. We can't you know, drink, uh, no, I said the generations grape juice. Right. Well, they're all generations <laughs> wine. <laughs> but also, also has it as yearning. So it gets better with age. Yeah? Yeah, I saying? guess, you know, you see the little thing. I don't know. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm, all right. So, all right. That, so now this is, again, so this is the clincher. This is the clincher. What did Yosef do? He said, oh, that your, I knew Yosef would be high because if you shouldn't recognize me, you did it, so my father will, either for side of the natural or because of Ruach HaKodesh. Either way, he'll figure it out. Right? They couldn't answer. Why couldn't they answer? This is the Hidush. The shame that they had, that what? That they didn't recognize him from the beginning. I know, and I was trying to shove it along because I need it. <laughs> the bush was, was me. If you, you, how embarrassing is it that you rec- you don't recognize? By the way, someone says, you know, what's my name or something. It's embarrassing already. You should know. Uh, Imagine you, my own brother. I thought the bush was was the main thing was that they sold him and threw him yeah, down. No, they were okay with that. They did a suicide. They did a suicide just like the baby does. Yeah, but the van comes after and says, "I told you so." And they didn't even ask forgiveness because they thought they were right. They were, all right, but they went after said, I told you so. He also said that they were right. It's interesting but, that it says, he never from, his not, face, not from his face. From his face, right. From his panav, because you should have recognized it's me. Hello, I'm right here. How did not recognize me? It's crazy. It's a hidush. So therefore, the Midrash is saying, Oy lanu mi yom adin. It's, it's from his face. From his face. Like Why? Because your face, you shouldn't recognize me. You want to say that I came before being an and all that? It's fine, but eventually you should have figured it out. And this whole thing is showing. Can you open the window, the door a little? I'm sorry. No, is it hot? Or is it me? It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Generated. It's hot. Generated. That's, that's good. It's good. It's itchy. <laughs> Wow, so, this is totally like a future. It's it's so That's different. Like scared, it's so different. They, they scared. <laughs> no, so why? What is the midrash telling you? That's the bunny. The brothers are are scared. The brothers are 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 embarrassed, and he couldn't speak because they're so shocked from something that was right in front of them. So Yom Adin's gonna come, and we're gonna be involved in all the things that are right in front of us, and we say, how can I do this? It was I should have known. It was so easy. Something I should I should have realized. This right. is what the Midrash is saying. One sec. Oy lanu mi yom adin. Why she lo die? It's not enough to say that yom adin, I'm going to get punished mi, mi, mi hamat ha'onik from the sin that I actually did. Ela mi hamat ha'bushah, the embarrassment that I'm going to have 
that in this world, the Averot that I did didn't seem like Averot at all. Averot enam domot be'enenu la Averot. Omnam be'yom adin. Keshen azkir it's going to be known to us that the Averot that we did, we're going to become shocked. On what that we didn't realize that that was an Avera in the first place because I should have known. Easy stuff. The small stuff. That's why I started the, the, the we said about David, right? Hizkiyahu, uh, Asa, right? And who was that? Maybe Oshayahu, I forgot who. But, but it was four kings. To show you what? To be careful with Dash Be'akiva, with the, the, the things that we do. Okay. You know, if, if you're talking to somebody and then you, then you get interrupted, be sensitive and go back to the guy. Go back to the guy. The, the small things, not. A, by the way, they say by Yom Adin, the Havetz Haim actually says, as we mentioned, the Havetz Haim. So Yom Adin, it's 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 not going to be. Look, the three big ones we're all careful of, right? Okay, those are the big ones. The ones that are going to be that, that God willing, those ones will not be with us on Yom Adin. Which ones will be with us? The time we said we'll call back in five minutes, it was ten minutes. The time that we yelled to our wives. The times we didn't have patience with our kids. Go look at the Vidu Gadol. It's not all killing. It's not all about murder. It's about Hidhurim. It's about, you know, I, I did things, uh, you know, through my hand and my leg and my, you know, all side, you know, ways. That's what I mean. The head of Yom Kippur. If you look at the Vidu Gadol. I don't know what you call it. You don't have to do it at all? No, sure you do. Some do, some don't. They do Vidu all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're always saying okay because we're not starting. Vidu Egadol of Yom Kippur? Huh? Vidu Egadol of Yom Kippur. Yeah, Vidu Egadol of Yom Kippur. But it doesn't have Israel. Yes. They don't have it. Okay, just look it over. I'll send it. We don't have it. No, I just go into a little more detail. A little bit. That's crazy. <laughs> but, what, but what is it about? It's about all the small stuff. Yosef uh, tells them, don't feel bad because you thought you're doing bad, but Hashem sent me here. Well, that's what so you saying. see that it's not really 100% the pshat, this pirush. Shema. Yosef, she omer them, don't feel bad, guys, because you guys thought you're selling me in a bad way and getting rid of me and killing me, but Hashem sent me here to save you. That's exactly the so, so, yeah, so, so the real bad. bad thing of the brothers was a sale, not that they didn't recognize him here. No, 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 no. slow your roll. No, 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 no. They had no problem with telling him. No, they no, did, because the right at the end, they tell him, they, they feel, they feel no. bad at the end. They tell him in the next portion, they say, go tell him. What does that have to do with this? What does that have to do with this? They didn't do with this. We're saying here that the real shot is that No, we're saying there's extra busha. One second. No, no, no. We're saying here the shot of the Zerashim Shon, the Mahu's shot. Is that they were embarrassed because they didn't identify his face. In other words, if they wouldn't know it's Yosef from the beginning, they wouldn't feel bad that they sold him. No, that's, that's not what it says. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, no. What we're saying, I need to say what the high kinev halumi panav is why? Because they say that they should. They, they trust me. They had more regret when Yaakov died. They go back to Yosef and right. says, by the way, by the way said, you, you should, should, you should be nicer. You. Okay, the so real sin, the real busha that they sold them. But the first busha, listen, listen, my friend, yeah. family is family. I'm sorry. Family is family. Before I sell you, I'm going to be more embarrassed that I didn't recognize you. Then I'll be embarrassed that I sold you. First they but, sold them. but the embarrassment I, I that I get to my that, brother. That didn't bother them. They, what bothered them about the selling is that when he yelled out, help, 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 we ignored that was the problem. Right. Not that they told them or uh, they was, there was the Pesach Deen, case closed, the was the dean. guilty. But if it's guilty, then help, help also shouldn't right. bother them. No, no. who no. said? Why? Once you, once when you, you should exalt the end of the stone, why should I help when you? When you stone no, a man to death, you stone him without clothes because it's a quicker death. When he stone a woman, you stone her while she's clothed <laughs> because she will be embarrassed. Okay. That's how detailed you have to be. Okay. So okay. Just was killing the guy. When he was screaming, and he's worried about him bad clothes, not clothes. Yes. There's the Rahmanut. That's how much. Because he was screaming, help, help. Yeah. yeah. And they ignored him. By the way, the, the Malkut, right? If a person get, if, a, if you get Malkut, if he gets, if he get whipped, if the guy can't handle it anymore, you don't give him the forty. You stop. If a guy that gets you right. Stop. Why? No, if it can't handle 15, can't handle two, you stop. 
You stop. If you can't, no, the guy can't handle more than you five. Go to, you go to 40? No, no you no, don't. 40. Why don't you? It's, it's the dean. It's called Talmud. No, you're missing the point. You're not listening. However, you can't take more than six. The doctor evaluates. This guy, he, he, he's skinny, no skin and bones. He's he can, one give him two and that's it. Okay, let's bite that. Let's bite that. <laughs> okay, so this is why the Midrash is saying that it's not, it's not going to be, it's not enough that we're going to be embarrassed about on Averot. We're going to be embarrassed of the the bushah that we're going to have is that what we thought were not Averot, what we thought was okay in this world was really Averot, and we just walked right through it. Right? That how much we're going to be shocked, the shock we're going to have that we didn't, we, we didn't, we didn't know enough to to to. Recognize them in Olam Hazeh, just like it says in Sukkah, Nun Bet the, 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 the right. I'm going to spoil it for you. The Reshaim needs men like him. Mashiach is going to come. Hashem is going to come. They show the Reshaim. No, Marohi, wait, wait. I know what you're talking about, Masechet Tanit. I'm talking about something in Sukkah. When Mashiach comes, the Goel is going to come. Amen. Hello, wake up, boys. And when he comes, we're going to take the Yetzirah and we're going to shecht him. Hashem is going to shecht the Yetzirah. In the, in, the, in the Zohar HaKadosh, that's what the Leviathan is. The Leviathan is the Yitzhara. We're going to yeah. eat. We're going to eat it. We're going to have a Suda. We're going to have a Suda. We're going to eat it. So what's the point? So the, the Sadiqim, he's going to... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's crazy. My brother Leon told me that one. Leviathan is Yitzhara. I confirmed it and everything. <laughs> but what... what the, 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 before, before he shakes him, he's going to reveal the Yitzhara. And the Sadiqim are going to see the Yetzirah as this giant mountain. And they're going to start crying. And they're going to start crying and saying, "How did this is what we fought our entire lives. Beast. It's a beast. It's beast. We never understood, we never saw. The Reshaim are going to see the Yetzirah as a Hucha Se'ara. One of these guys. He won us. He, won us. This. he got us. You see this? Can you see it or no? <laughs> Barely. You Barely. Barely. This is what got us. This is what I lost my alama about over over this, and they're gonna cry. And the Gemara continues to say that even Hakadosh Baruch Hu is gonna cry, Kibyachol, crying for the Sadiqim and crying for the Reshaim. Like it says in the Midrash that when Yamsuf happened and 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 and, and all the Mitzrayim were dying, the Malachim started singing the praise of Hashem, and, and Hashem says, "Stop singing! What are you singing? What what craftsman wants to see is his work being broken?" Even if it's bad, I don't want to break my stuff. I made them. It's a crazy midrash. So that means when they, we kill the terrorists, we shouldn't jump up too much from joy. I didn't say that. <laughs> it's not <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Malachim. <laughs> the Malachim. No, but Hashem told them, don't, don't sing in front of me. Don't be too happy. My father told me. I created. My father taught me no, when I was young. Malachim. What? So Malachim. Not to us. We sang. As it should Moshe. Ah, so Rohi, we We sang. We sang, Azishir Moshe. The Malachim was singing, Hashem said, don't sing. We sang, we sing until today, Azishir Moshe. We could sing. We're involved. We get a direct benefit out of it. Yeah, yeah we got to deal with it. Count a commas Hashem. Do it for the right reasons. Hashem Avaya, kill. Do it for the right reasons. Kill for the right reasons. Help your wife for the right reasons. I said today in class, but I said this morning, okay? Which class, Mr. Brewer? Yeah, 9.15. Plug <laughs> that that if you help your wife, you're gonna help your wife regardless, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Trust me, I know. But if you do it with for the right intent, by saying no, I'm doing it because there's a halakha shalom bayit, and I want to fulfill the mitzvah. You just made it into a mitzvah. You understand? Take your mundane work, doing dealing with your workers, Chaim. You deal with them with the right way, the way of the Torah. You make, but have in mind, I'm doing it because the Torah said so. That changes you. <laughs> Plug. Plug. So that's the first one. That's a, that, okay. The next answer, there's a second answer. Okay, which one somebody already said it. Okay. That the Yoknosha Yosef, the the, the, the mut of Yosef is exactly like my father. Yaakov. So if you don't recognize me, bring my father down. My father that has the exact same face as me, and you'll see that it's the same person. Right? To say Inami the fish haya the Yoknosha Yosef Domesh Shel Aviv Hayalahem Ani Yosef Im and Atem Akirimot if you don't recognize me, 
because I, I was baby faced when I left, how would that be high? Is my father alive? That he's the one that will be able to recognize my, my face. Right? If you the brothers, if you don't recognize me, then bring my father. My father recognized me. No, my father has a beard and I look exactly like him. So if my father's alive, you should know that I should look like my father. And you should identify me. Why don't you recognize me? Because I look just like that. Be you. Have, meaning that you have a that's a flaw in them. It's a, yeah. flaw, it's a flaw in them saying that they only recognize so I say a different word. Right. 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 Do you not you know your father? How would that be high? Is he not alive? Did he right. die in the last couple of years that you don't remember what he looks like? Right. Exactly. Yeah. You don't recognize me. Is your father it's, still it's, alive? I look right. exactly like your no, father. No, is my, my father, father still alive? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Right. And that's why it's your idea, you know, he's giving yourself a khai, saying is you guys have to wake up. You guys don't really know who your father is. That's, that's an add-on. What? That's oh, good, but that's an add-on. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah, that's, that's not what he says. We don't recognize Hashem, he's saying. He said, no, it says, what is the what's the No, that's the tapa. Yeah, but that's not on the second answer. But it's all, it adds, it brings I agree. I think it's great. I'm not saying it's bad. I think it's great. It brings it back to what, why does the Mizrash have to bring that? The whole point is that they're saying is why is it such a yom adin? It's a yom adin because to the to the brothers because there's you, you? Yosef is uh, waking him oh. up and saying is you guys didn't really know who your father is. So you should know. I saw Rav Amar, Rav Shlomo Amar. Okay, he gave a speech somewhere. Rav Shlomo Amar was one of the chief rabbis. Kodesh Kodeshim, unbelievable. And Moshe Fah was very close to him. And he and he uh, and I remember he said he said the words yom adin in a speech. And and he stopped. He was at the podium, and he had to recompose himself. What's the podium? Podium, podium was like the the bima stage. stage. Uh-huh. And he had to control himself. He had to recompose. He had to, He was crying. You told. You just said the words. What's gonna happen by Yom And then he's he crying. Starts crying. Another big rabbi said saw uh, something that said uh, thirty six or something. So he goes, mm, Elul's coming or thirty seven. Was, oh, I lose guy. Gotta make teshuva. And he just kept walking. And somebody heard this. So what's 37? And he did the gematria. It lose 37. He's like, oh. <laughs> He's like, who thinks about that? <laughs> but it's not if it's on you. But that's why, by the way, when you bring a korban hatat, when you do something, what's a korban hatat? When you do shogeg. I did it by accident. You had to have to, have to bring up a right? pot of hatat, a korban hatat. How much is a pot? How much is a cow? Thousands. 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 How much is a cow? A cow. Who to buy a cow, cow right now? A, cow, a live cow. <laughs> live cow, not cut up. Uh, <laughs> no, no, Chaim no. will know. What do you mean? It's a business. A sheep is two and a half. No, I said 7,000. How much? 7,000. How much? Hold on, hold on. Let the professor do man tell us. Where's Mosh Rubin though? No, no, come on. What are you talking about? A cow? A cow? Like, I'd say seven or eight thousand shekels. We did have this conversation. Seven or eight thousand shekels. Seven or eight thousand shekels. If I turn the light on on Shabbat by accident, I got to bring Kobar Hatat. Seven grand. Seven thousand shekels. Why? Why? Mr. Brady, you hear me? That's why there's no Edim around here. Do you hear me? Yes or no? I was complaining about a yeah. Let me tell you why. It's true. No, Mazid, this is the whole story. You got to make the Shua first. Oh you gotta make God. the shuvah first. You can't even bring out a hatat. Both my car registrations have to be here. Oh no! I had a two of me once, like that big or bigger, like that kanas, because I just never knew. I, I did a liyeh, no one guided me or anything, so I suddenly find out they never had my address, and I suddenly got this huge kanas. I went to them and proved that I'm in Kola or this, that. The the guy, a nice guy, a uh, Mizrahi guy, he was working in Beta, I'm about to do it. Really? Yeah. Didn't you know, we money. we had we had my neighbor had a whole bunch of parking tickets. Okay, I'm, I don't want to get back to the shoe. Oh. Had a whole bunch of parking tickets, and he never he paid them once a year. Like that was his thing. He what calls. Well, I'll tell you the quota story. Oh, I'll tell you the quota. So he tells. So he tells. He tells. He like. <laughs> so he, tells, he tells. So he calls the guy. Okay, now if anybody's from the United States of America, they know this story is impossible. Okay, he calls the guy. He says, uh, "How much are my tickets?" He says, uh, three thousand shekel." He goes, oh, so Weezy goes, I don't know. But then you hear the guy on the other side goes, well, you know, you're lucky because today we're running a sale. I promise. Parking tickets, dad, parking tickets. He goes, we're running a sale. If you paid all, we waived the fees. <laughs> the late fees. 
So he goes, okay, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> Come on, you just got to. And in Brooklyn, my mother got a meter made not to give a ticket once. It was like Mashiach came. You have no, these guys have no Rahmanut whatsoever. Okay. They're actually told. They're actually told on the ticket you can't talk to the meter here in Israel on the ticket. Said so you can't talk. If you see the guy giving you the ticket and you're there, you can't talk to him and ask him for like two. You cannot. So again, so let's review. Let's review. Let's review. We had a we had a midrash. The midrash said by Yom and Yosef and Ahi voice. Right here. I heard on the radio. I mean, it's not sure, but this uh, a Jew was parking. Boys, somewhere. listen up. Listen. A Jew was parking somewhere. And uh, and uh, and he's coming to park, and he, there was an Arab guy giving tickets. He said, "Where do I pay?" He said, "Right here, by the money." You see the money there? Go over there and pay. He went to pay, came back. That wrote him the tickets. <laughs> so let's review. Let's review. Let's review. Let's review. Don't be a hater. <laughs> let's review. No, you have a midrash. Holidays, they know the Arabs good. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's why I told you. Hashem created the Teva of the world. Don't expect anything to change. I'm not kidding. Okay, that's the thing with my son. He's like come back with such clarity. Maybe he had it before also, but the, the, the Rishon has been going on and on. Rishon Katz about the soldiers, Malachi Shavis, there are rebbers. they like he's giving them such cover. And you know, think uh, look at the whole, you know, you start thinking about other people, and then you see what the way they're thinking. It's so clear to them. Life is so clear. They have no confusion. They're not interested in the Chadashot. They're not interested in any of the Bilbalim. <laughs> they even want their phone. They just want to do their mission. That's it. If the smart ones do. Yeah. All right. This they is got, the if, you... if they don't, it's life or death. All right. All right, let's review the Midrash. You had the Midrash that says that oh, the, oh, the Bihai, Kini, Bihalu, Mipanav, because they're too shocked they couldn't answer, right? So, right? So, the Midrash says, Oh, Ilan, Yom Adin, Oh, Ilan, Yom Atorah, Yosef, that was the, the youngest of the brothers. Right, that the, the all the older brothers were, couldn't respond to him when they when he when he when he confronts them and says, "I am Yosef, is my father alive?" When we get to Agadosh Baruch Hu, had kama that we're gonna we're gonna be shocked. We're not gonna say a word. The question that Zerushim Shon is, what is so hard to understand? We know about Yom Adin. You kids, you guys should be teaching your kids about Yom Adin and teaching your kids about Olam Abba. Teach them. Why not? Why do you want to keep it in the dark for? You want to keep it to yourself? You have to teach them. Yeah, yeah. I was once by the Mir Rosh Hashiva Shir, Musaf Musaf Shir Erev Shabbos. He had cerebral palsy at that time, and he literally spent the Shir read from the Gemara. I think it's in uh, Sanhedrin or about Yom Adin, and he spent the rest of the the, the Shir crying about saying again and again Yom Adin. That was the Shir. That was the Musaf. Just. Yeah, it's all Dimyon. That'll do it. That'll do it. The reality is Yom Adin. This is all Dimyon here. It's all fake. The chicken pops, the whiskey, it's, it's all, all, it's all dimyon. The it real is. thing is Yom Adin. But what's the difference? What's the difference? Listen, <laughs> boys, there's difference between, like, guys, there's a very, this is, Chaim, this is very important. There's a very big difference between realistic, between my ideals and reality. My ideals are clear. Reality starts to get a little faded. You have to work on getting your reality, Moshe, to get closer to your ideals. You know Hashem Zemet, you know Torah Zemet, you know Moshe Zemet. That's gorgeous. That's great. You're right. Congratulations. You picked the right choice. To live your life that way is another question. And now I can say my story. What happened at the court till Friday night? This Friday? Last Shabbat? This Shabbat. Mm-hmm. Friday night we're at the court till. And now I, I told Rabbi Zilberg the court till is like a like uh, what was the name? Uh, Kal Savua, right? But uh, Rabbi Akiva's father-in-law. Yeah. Uh, Kal Savua. Why you walked in hungry? You left. You left full. Full. Where so I, I, I was like, okay, relax. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked into the hotel crying. I walked into the hotel crying, and I left smiling. Okay. The Shabbat also you can't cry. <laughs> we pray Minha. We pray Arvid. And now the minyan that we were at, we say Shira Shirim every Friday night. And my son says Shira Shirim. It's, uh, we always do that. They didn't say Shira Shirim. We finished, we finished the minyan. So I asked, I asked son, my son, I go, you want to say Shira Shirim? So he goes, yeah, he likes it. So me and my father and my son, okay, Mendel down three generations, sitting all together saying Shira Shirim. Now, before I continue, there was one thought that popped in my head when I was at the hotel during Minha. I see the courtyard, and right above the courtyard, you see the sky. The sky is beautiful. There was clouds, 
Right? Not did you, see, not, did you see the sunset coming through? No, I didn't see the sunset. Uh, I saw blue. Beautiful, beautiful blue. Nice. And I saw like a little like a little sky, little little clouds, whatever. It's just it was pretty. And I said to myself, I don't care what's going on in the world. This is the safest place to be. Okay, the now the Kotel. Why the Kotel? The Kotel. Why? Because, because you had the Shekhinah. Not a big wall, wise guy. Because <laughs> you have the Shekhinah is by the Kotel. Listen to me. My son is also. You boys done? I can give you another few minutes if you need. I'm cool with it. <laughs> The, and my father tell, the Shekhinah the Shekhinah we know is the is the is the is the wife. Hagadosh Baruch Hu is the husband. We've gone through this before. Shekhinah is the wife. And my father told me about a year ago, a year ago that just popped into my head, that a mother would let the world burn before she lets anything happen to her son. It happened. Yeah. So he says Shekhinah is here. Shekhinah is my mother. I ain't worried. I have nothing to do with any azaka. Another just chilling. Fine. Then Mincha comes, Arbit comes, Shira Shrim, all of a sudden, siren. 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 Yeah. Kodamari. Right? We have the guy that yeah, found. Yeah, the the Mishtara. Mishtara. Then we're like, what's going on? I thought like the Mishtara is coming to like, you know, start speaking like we do. <laughs> I don't know how to speak Hebrew. <laughs> and I see everybody running. To the tunnel. Somewhere, to, yeah. Yeah, but they were, they were running. Listen, I it happened in slow mo for me because I was smiling the entire time. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm not. No, this is very important to me. This is very important to me because when it had another time in my life, it happened where I was I was I was uh, in a dangerous position, not Israel or war or anything like that, and I didn't think about Hashem and I wasn't I wasn't confident. I didn't freak out. I just didn't turn to Hashem. It bothered me. Every day it bothered me. Afterwards. Every day it bothered me. Yeah. And Friday night, when, and I saw, not a lot of people saw because they were running. I saw the Iron Dawn intercept the rocket. Yeah. And I got to see the, the, the and it was beautiful. Yeah. And it was beautiful. It was right above the cloud. No, it was further, but it was close. Where you, you know, where you could see. But things are high. They look much closer. But I saw it, and it was beautiful because the sky was nice and, and blue, you know, and, and the gold, the colors that Hashem shown, by the way. Because they said that this missile was going to Harabait, actually. Our website the also. The army said that it was going to Harabait. Yeah, that was it. And I saw it explode. And I smile. I said, this is gorgeous. And my father's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Are you crazy? I go, no. <laughs> I said, you got to do what you got to do. I know. I, I said, I fine. I, nobody was afraid. Uh, no, we weren't nobody. afraid. But we, but okay. So my father, I've got to go. It's a point. I agree. Hishtalut is your obligation. It's not. A, it's not an. It's not a. Uh, it's not an option. It's not an option. You, the Hashem created the world on the condition that everything, every everything that He created, every creation was with the uh, with the uh, understanding of re of re uh, of procreating. Everything that Hashem made was with the agreement that you will procreate. You will make more. You have to do. You cannot sit. It is asur. It is asur to sit and do nothing. You must do. Good. So I felt good. It was very close to me because I felt, okay, I'm getting closer. My ideals and my reality are coming a little closer because I didn't freak out. And it, and it felt good. It felt good because life is really a game of chicken. The difference is how much, how way do you hold? You're going to talk to someone and he's going to say, Oh, you got are you crazy? You got because I, I told people I got different answers. One guy said very nice. Other guys, the other guy is jumping out of his seat. No, 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 no you can't do that. No, no, you got to run. Another guy said, "Wow, that's a beautiful story." It all depends where you're holding. It all depends where you're holding. You know how many stories are going to come out when this war is going to be over, God willing? How many stories about the hand of God being with them? I talk to soldiers all the time. Yeah, my son's got them already. Just and ones this. that don't try to ask or try whatever, I ask them and they say, you know, now that I think, I, one guy told me, he goes, I remember I was in, I was like, like in the bushes or whatever, and they were on a mission, and he heard, or he felt the wind of the bullet going right by his ear. And, I, and he said, because you can't say it, he's got to say it. He's got to see it. He goes, I felt God did that for me. 
but but it happens all the time, and not everyone agrees. Yeah. You have Be'iri. You have two people, God forbid, by Minan, that lost family members. One person says, I realize now that, you know, the Arabs, is done. It, it, it's wrong. We can't make peace. Another one saying, this is strengthening my belief. We got to make peace. No. Yeah. yeah. No, still people, yeah. Still you know, people. I told my wife, I told her, I told her the fact that, that how many people passed? How many people got murdered? 1,400. 1,400. No, it was less. It was 1,200 and something. You have to realize, it says in the Gemara Cholin, we've said this before, that a person does not stub his toe unless Shemayim says so. Your person doesn't, you know how you stub your toe on the bed? Bang it on the, bang it on the bed? And you start, I, I thought it says that. That's from Shemayim. Even that's not from Shemayim. Even that's from Shemayim. If, oh, that's what it means, no kifetz ball. I thought no kifetz ball means like move your finger. Yeah. No. No. So the point say, is, the point is, is that if that many people, listen to me, if that many people passed away, that means in order to get us to be, to like they each other, to be nice, murdered, yeah. I know, but I'm trying to be, nice. whatever, they were murdered, <laughs> whatever. That's the exactly. They found many more after this. So okay, whatever. Big numbers. Okay, I know. But that means Hashem deemed it that if it was one less, we would not get the ahdut we have today. Yeah, that's. Because what yeah. father, what father wants to kill his kids? And the fact that he did it means that he needs, this is the this is the minimum amount of people that have to die for this to happen. You understand? The minimum amount of people that have to die in order to get to these, these jet bear kids that we have. I call my, I call my kids the dips in Arabic. It's like bear, the idiots. Right? They just be, behave. Do the right thing. It's not that difficult. Hashem's telling us, just be nice. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, by the way, you have to realize, what's Simhat Torah? Simhat Torah, what does Simhat Torah represent? One day after 40 days of Selichot, of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Lulav, Etrog, Sukkot, everybody goes home, give me one more day just to chill. That's what he's saying, that's what Hashem says. One more day. Just let's just hang out there, don't go, don't go. Like when my kids are leaving, I say, wait, give me two, two more minutes, two more minutes, give me one more minute. Let me hang with you, one more minute. It was taken away. It was taken away. It was taken away. Why? Because you don't deserve it. Because you, 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 the children aren't behaving. We're turning the car around, like my mother would say. We're turning her around. We're going home. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done that. We've all done that. We have to be together. And if he would have taken one, le- one less, it, you understand, he takes what he needs to take. He takes what he needs to take. Shouldn't take any more. I'm in, obviously. I'm in. <laughs> Love each other. Follow the Torah. Follow the Torah. Love the Torah. Be excited to go to shul in the morning. Don't say, oh, shoot, I got to go to shul. Learn the words. Learn the words of the Tepilah. Do you know what you're saying? Baruch She'amar Vehaya Olam. What does that mean? Thank God he said, let's make a world. <laughs> Baruch, thank God, She'amad, that he said, ha'olam, let there be a world. Baruch, who, thank God, because if not, we had, we'd be now, where would we? Nothing. Nothing. Learn what you're praying. Learn what you're saying. Care. Don't ashech ami, ashech you. So that, that's, that's the message. The message, oi. What's going to be by Yom Adin? The Busha that we know what's happening. Yom Adin, what's going to be? We need to know. We need to be aware. Be cognizant. People get insurance. All sorts of insurances. Why? For the, for, for just in case it happens. But when it comes to when it comes to time for Shabbat over, okay, what's the what time Shabbat over? Why? Why? Because Ayetzara does that to us. I remember when I was younger, I'd be like this. <laughs> waiting, waiting. Why? You're missing the whole. You're missing the whole point of life. So now, by the way, go to you. Go to. It's a short one. It's a short one. It's a short one, but it's a good one. I want to make sure I'm clear. Work on your love for the mitzvot. Work on your love for the mitzvot. Don't expect to teach your kids. To love the Torah if you don't try to love the Torah yourself. It's going to take you. What am I going to do? I have another one, but it's not an old scroll. 
Go to Yud. This is a great question. Now we went through Yosef and the Ahim, right? Why? Let's talk about when Yosef meets Yaakov for the first time. There's a very giant problem that happens, by the way, and it's and it's really completely crazy. The Basuk says, Vayar right? He sees him and he falls on his face on, on his shoulders and they hug. What does Rashi say? And he didn't kiss him. Why? Love it. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. When you were tonight, what I felt and what I wrote were two different things. I couldn't tell you that. It's not proper. It's not my place. Yeah, sure. yeah. But your son said it. Yeah. And that was great. Guy, you listen to this? His yeah. son has not been home in two and a half months. Yeah, he, he texts me. Oh, listen to me. Okay. Right. Doesn't Yosef say. falls and hugs and cries. Yeah, Yaakov does right. nothing. Stand yeah. still. Why? Because they get out Shema. Oh, he, oh he, when the, when, at the moment he saw him, he was didn't, like... He didn't came, talk he about it while he was in the middle of saying Kriya Shema, or he just dude started saying Kriya Shema? No, he's in the middle. No, no, it says Shaya Kore, which means he's in the middle. Or he's saying it, I don't know. He's in it. I don't know. I don't know. He's not hugging Don't talk David Kut. He's saying Kriya Shema, that's what it says. Fine. So then, yeah. So Ellie, Ellie tonight, is, you know, realize his son has been away for two and a half months, and it's getting him crazy. Because sometimes he sends me a whole bunch of messages that don't make sense, <laughs> and I just ignore them, and it ruins my week. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and but, no and, but now tonight, <laughs> no, he knows. But now tonight, <laughs> listen. But now he finds out tonight that his son's coming home. Some, some it's six o'clock. So he's like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it tonight. And I told him, don't stay home, be with your son, because that's what a friend tells the guy. It's okay. It's okay. When I leave, when I come home, when I come back, and it's it's either go to Minyan or come home and see the family, I send a message to the family. I'm be home about eight o'clock. Minyan is about eight. Should I go pray or should I come and see you? I want them to answer. Go to Minyan. Some some say yes. Huh? Let them say. It depends on the mood. It also depends on the mood. <laughs> I can go on about that. Right, right. So you understand? But his son told him, go learn. His son told him, go learn. I wanted to tell him that, but it's not my place. Just because you know something doesn't mean you could say it. You heard that, Moshe? Just because you know something does not mean it's your place. But it was his son's place. <laughs> and that's good. That's good. So now, Yaakov, let's tie it to Yaakov. Yosef comes, falls on his on his shoulder, starts crying. Yaakov does nothing. Why? And the Mefashim, the good Ariyah, by the way, is powerhouse. Tomorrow. Yeah. Right? Why would Yaakov say Kriyat Shema when he knows that Yosef is coming to him? And if you want to think that's because he wants to read it before Vatikin, like Johanna Ru says. Then why wasn't Yosef saying Kiryat Shema? <laughs> he feels like he's going to have a heart attack and die. Nah, stop it. What are you talking? Say Shema, the last thing you do before you die. Yeah, like, if yeah. it's the time to say Kiryat Shema in the morning, if it's if you look at Shohan Aruch, the proper time to say Kiryat Shema is before Vatikin, before Nets. Before Nets, Amma in the morning. Before Nets. No, Nets is Amida. You have Kiryat Shema, Birchotea. You say before Nets. Then if it's the time, so if you want to say it's Netzah Hama before Netz, very nice. Then why is your what's, what's the matter with Yosef? He's dropping the ball. We know everybody. We they, everyone's yeah, called Yaakov Yaakov was a, was a lip, a swadi, Nah, no, no, no. Was a <laughs> right, right. We have time. We got time. <laughs> I don't think you can have a, a different um, Look, 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 look. Why not? It's, it's it's a long time. So that's the question. So the question is, why would Yaakov say Kirat Shema now, and why? If it was Vatikim time, Yosef, it was, if it was Vatikim time, then why wasn't Yosef saying it? And another question, that if you look at the Peshat of the Pasuk, it seems like Yaakov saw Yosef, because it says, Vayera Elav. What does it teach you? That Yaakov saw him. If it's wrong, then, then why is this all of a sudden going to say Kriyashma? But you have to, so it sounds like because he saw him, he said Shema. Because he saw him, 
He said Shema. Why? Again, let's see inside. Ve'ot kashe mi peshat hakatu from the right from the regular peshat to the pasuk. It seems like Yaakov called Yosef. I'm sorry that Yaakov saw Yosef by the words of the pasuk. Vayera elav, right? That he saw him. Teaches you that Yaakov saw him because if you don't say that, then what do you have to write the words Vayera elav that he saw him for? So it means he saw him. And now what are you going to connect that? So he said the minute that Yaakov saw him, he saw to say Kriyat Shema. But that's shocking. You can't say that Yaakov We can't say that Yaakov saw him while he was in the middle of Kiryat Shema because you know when he say the first pasuk of Shema, your eyes are closed. right? You got to close your eyes. There's a sword behind when you say Shema, you says Shema, your eyes have to be closed. Not open. But he wouldn't have seen him first. He would not have seen him. So the fact that he saw him Means that he said Kriyat Shema because he saw him. Because otherwise, if it's not connected, then if he was in the middle of Shema, his eyes would be closed. His eyes wouldn't be open. The Hayyub of saying Kriyat Shema in the morning, if you wake up late, say the first Pasuk at least of, Sh- of Kriyat Shema, which now is about 8 30, depends on who you go, 8 30, not 15, Gra, maybe it's later, right? But uh, we go by eight, about 8 30. So yeah, I always do it straight away. After Bikas the Torah. I know there's an Indian to have to fill in on, but I think... Yes, what time struggle. do you wake up in the morning? Uh, six. What time do you go to Minyan? I learn for seven. What time do you go to Minyan? Eight, ten. Mm-hmm. What time do you hit Kiryat Shema by? We usually make it. Uh, so then make it. With to fill in. Must. Yeah, it's a do check in. Before. It's a do check in. Yeah, uh, you know what's going to happen? Like, what if I get distracted? I want to miss the key of the rice. Then do it. Then, then pay attention. And you won't be a Hayav Hatat. Why? You could do it. Have you missed it in the 8th Terminal? Have you missed it once? Do you have any hashash to think that you might miss it? The only day I woke up late since I moved to Pratt was Simple Story. I woke up. That day? It was weird. I was also late to school that day. I was I, no, literally the bomb blew me out of my bed so like the missile. That's, that's very good. My bed, the shaking. That's my stuff. No, I was, I, was, I was in America. I was walking the dogs. I was like, what? Why were you walking the dogs? Should have been short. Late. <laughs> Why? Because my first my premiere morning, tour was like four things. I was in Vegas. I don't know what you guys. Oh yeah. All right, listen, listen. So we have questions. So what's the answer? So look, the Mekubali my seven kavanot. Okay, the Arizal. Shema. Right. But I remember learning this. It's in the Zohar. Shema is the Hashem of Hashem You have Shema and you have a Had. You have four. You done? Listen. You have Shema and you have a Had. You have two words, right? Shema, Shema. So it's funny because the, the Zohar says, I think it was the Rabbi Pir Hasbin Yaid that says it. That is, it has a secret, but he but he's not supposed to say it. But then they write the whole thing in the Zohar. <laughs> What's that all about? If you, what what is this? What is Shema? The Ain is big. And the Dalit is also the big. I read this result. Right. The iron is big and the Dalit is So what does it mean? Eight. 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 Witness. What, what are the letters that are left with? Excuse me. Are you conducting business elsewhere, please. What is... Listen to me. Hello. Listen to me. What change, man? Was this a business? What kind of shot? Juice the guy. <laughs> He's going to EX him to a Torah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got some majority to get a mezuzah for free. Her this is, <laughs> no, I want to wrap up. I want to wrap up. In the Kuvalim, right? Shema and Ehad. When you take the ayin away, <laughs> when you take the ayin away and we take the dal, what are you left with? Esmach. 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 You'll be happy. Oh, like when you take the eye, listen, focus, boys. Actually, when you take the eye, I'm going to wait. Stop. You have Shema and you have Ehad. The Ayin and the Dalit spells Ed. The balance of the four letters that are left spell out Esmah. Happy. 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 That's the Edut. Edut of Hashem. You'll be Besimcha. You'll be happy. Love the Torah. It's Edut that you're serving Hashem if you're happy. If you're not happy, you're not he serving also Hashem. Writes, he also writes, If you're not happy, you're not serving Hashem. That's true. Correctly. You're serving him, but you're not serving him right. You have disgruntled employees, they're still employees. <laughs> you, what does the Dal represent? The four Imahot. The Ayin Rabati, the big Ayin represent in Shema, the three Avot. The Ayin spells out, right? It represents three Avot. Why? Abraham is Hesed. What is Ayin? What does 70 have to do? Three pieces of Ayin. Listen. 
The Ayin represents the 70 bridges of Hesed. Remember, Abraham is Hesed. Yitzhak is Deen. So Abraham is Hesed. What does the Ayin have to do with Hesed? Are you going to connect it? There's 70 bridges of Hesed. Call it the Shad Kavanot. Okay? Seven Kavanot. Sorry. Yitzhak is Deen. So what does the Ayin represent there? 70 elders of the, of the Sanhedrin. <laughs> Not yet. No. 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 Hesed is 70 bridges of Hesed. Is that the Shreem Panim Torah or something no. else? No, I'm sure they connected. I didn't learn it. Maybe it's connected, but I don't know. Yitzhak is Deen. That's a 70 shot. That's a 70 Sanhedrin. Which are the 70 Zekinim and the Sanhedrin. Yaakov, look what Sefer Kavanot says. Yaakov is Shivim Nefesh. We know Shivim Nefesh. Right? You would, right? You would say, you know, by the way, is this week, today's, uh, today's, uh, what's it called? Today's Shrei Mikra. Yeah. Talks about how yeah yeah you know Yaakov is moving out. Oh, it's, it's courses. Uh, by the way, moving not a joke. It's a lot of stuff, and they didn't have closets. Okay, so it's a lot. So that that's the seven covenant. Now, when now the Adotosha now when up until now when Yaakov did not see Yosef, he did not have his seventy nefesh. He had sixty nine. He never saw Yosef yet. There's no Yosef. There's no 70 Nefesh. Why are we 70 Nefesh? It's not 70 Nefesh short. Because we're all one. We're all connected. We're the same. Why 70 Nefesh short? We're not. We're all the same guy. We're part of one body. No, but, but, when Yaakov Inu came, it was 70 with, with all the kids and all But the... he didn't see Yosef yet. Right. He's no, going into... He's asking, he's asking why 70. He's asking why 70. No, he's saying it's 70 Nefesh short. Right. So oh, Jacob because, if you look, the, uh, because yeah. all the descendants, you have all the tw- the eleven tribes <laughs> with the kids and the grandkids and the whole in Arabic, the whole dinya, the whole whatever. <laughs> it's six. The mishpacha is sixty-nine people. Okay. <laughs> Seventy is the magic number. Seventy is the magic number. The Yaakov represents in the Ayn of Shema. Okay. But now, until he got there, he never saw. He never got the seventy. So now, well, look, look. The Ado Tasha, Lord Ayakov, Shivim Nevesh, Kulam Beyahad. Never saw all the kids together. Ume Ata and now Shiba Yosef is slow. Nitya Hadu Kwa Shivim. Now all the 70 comes together. Velachen Miyad, the minute he sees Yosef, says, Vayera Elav, he started saying Shema. In order to what? To complete the tikkun of the ayin of his part of Shema Israel. Woo! That's contingent on him in the Ayin of Shema. Because this was the first opportune time he had. Like it's the Mishnah Berurah brings the Ravad. He had a guy from jail, sends a letter, tells the Ravad, they're giving me a day out. What day should I ask for to go? I want to go pray. Should I go pray Yom Kippurim? Should I do Rosh Hashanah? What should I do? He says, the first Minha you can take. The first tefillah, the positive that you have, that's what you go do. You grab the mitzvah the second you can. Do not wait. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, no. He could, be, he could fulfill the ayin, is, is what that's mutal, and the ayin and shema on his part, his job to be metaken. By the way, you should know that het Adam and Ishon was by Abraham and and Yaakov already meta, was already done. The tikkun was done. Between Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, the Zohar says they already did the tikkun of Adam and Ishon. How do we mufterize it? How do they come back? Mechilat Yosef. The body, the, the chest that's under Kisei Akavod. We know there's 600,000 goof, right? 600,000. Huh? What? Yeah. Well, we're a work in progress, we're going to tell you. But we we, have the mo- we improve after each one. We do. Yeah. We do. We're do. we doing great. We, <laughs> we, we are the most dysfunctional marriage. Okay? Between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The most dysfunctional marriage. And He loves us more than you love your children. He loves you more than you're going to love, God willing, all your grandkids. And He loves you more than your grandparents love you. And, more, and He loves you more than you did when you first met your wife and the day of your wedding day, God loves you more than you ever could imagine. 
He loves you so much that you can't even imagine. And then multiply it. And then triple it. So why does it say there's not more than time? So is that way on is that way one. I was sorry to say that the chest of all the Nishamot. No, no, Shivim Nefesh. Right? So what's the question? Now we're saying 69, right? So it wouldn't destroy the US, it would destroy Yeah. It's really 66. Well, you had Yochevet that was born at the home of Mitzrayim. You have Yosef, but not the Nashem and Ephraim. Right. So there was 66 when they came in, and then there was the last four when he, when he says this. But this is when he sees this is the first, what the Zara is saying, it's the first time he sees all Shivim together. You know, my mother-in-law, by the way, last year, two years ago, so COVID came, we had we had said that by ourselves, and it was the best thing ever. It was the best thing ever. And I said, this is the way we're going to do it. Now, the following year, of course, my brother-in-law from America comes to Israel, and now my mother-in-law wants all our children at the table. Okay, so I said, nope. I, I call her, and she knows how I am. I call her and said, we're going to be there, and we're going to participate, and we're going to make sure it's a great seder. Like, we're in. That was after a week of arguing with Stephanie, but that's what... <laughs> that's what I but at the end, of, I said, we're a work in progress. Baruch Adonai, Ramam, Amen, Amen. Abi Hanya, Bekasha, Amen. 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 Amen.